Putting these two processes together is a win-win. The engineering design process helps you design your solution to the future city challenge. And the project management cycle provides the approach you need to get it done. Here's what's involved. Your future city team will start in the define stage of the project management cycle. As you move through this stage, you'll also be working through the first two steps of the engineering design process. Identify the problem and learn the specifications. Your challenge. Imagine, research, design, and build a city that exists at least 100 years in the future and incorporates your team's solution to this year's citywide sustainability issue. To answer the question, what is a city, you'll need to learn about city features, infrastructure, and zoning. Building the background knowledge of what goes into creating and maintaining a city of today sets you up to start dreaming about your city of tomorrow. Future City has five deliverables. The virtual city, the city description, the city model, the city presentation, and the project plan. Reviewing the competition requirements, finding out the due dates, and reading the rubrics are great ways to make sure you don't miss a thing. Setting goals gives your team the chance to decide what is important to the whole group. You'll also think about what resources you might want or need, and if there are any constraints that you might need to work around. As you enter the plan stage, you'll also begin the brainstorm and design it phases of the engineering design process. Now that you understand what's involved in creating your future city, it's time to make a schedule. Don't worry if some things change along the way. That's part of the process. Before you start brainstorming what your city will look like and your solution to this year's challenge, take some time and research how engineers, architects, city planners, and others are trying to solve the same problems. Engineers use simulation tools to research different designs. You'll use SimCity to test out your city planning ideas and different city development strategies. This is the first place where you will share your vision of your future city. Before you start drafting your city description, Make sure you can answer what makes your city special, futuristic, and innovative, and have a clear idea of how you are solving this year's sustainability challenge. Drawing a map of your city gives you the chance to evaluate your design before you build your model. It's also a great way to see if the scale you've chosen works. The do phase is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to be spending your time building, testing, improving, and redesigning as you work to create your city. It's time to polish your city description. It's a good idea to ask your educator or mentor to review it and give you feedback. As you begin construction, refer back to your virtual city, city map, and your city description. As you outline your presentation, think about who your audience is and what you want them to know about your city. Make sure you plan regular team check-ins to review the schedule, figure out what still needs work, and what's done. It's important to continually ask, is this our best work? What improvements can we make? Are we meeting the future city requirements? Review is the final stage of the project management cycle and fits with the share step of the engineering design process. It's time to reflect on all your hard work. Answering six questions not only helps you remember what you've done, it helps you prepare for the questions the judges will ask at competition. It's time to share your vision of the future.